Hi, I'm Dr. Jenna Scare, better known as Dr. Unfit, and we're gonna go over hamstring stretches because this is the one thing that I see done the most inefficiently. If you're really wanting to improve your hamstring mobility, one, if you feel always chronically tight, I might say to go back to that breath work thing that I talk about a lot. <laughs> so you can check out the video that I have on there because we really want to decrease the stimulus in our nervous system if it's feeling like it needs to hold on a lot. Go listen to the episode. You'll find out more there. However, if you are just tight because you never stretch or you haven't gotten into the most effective stretch, this could help. The other thing that helps, I'll just mention it real quick, is loading the hamstring. So that means actually working out. Let me know in the comments below. Do you work out? Do you stretch? Do you feel chronically tight? Let me know what you're experiencing in your body and like this video so that you can continue watching. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the, the, the hamstring stretch where you lift your foot up on a higher surface because this is the one that I see done a lot, right? Where someone puts their foot up and then it's really bending forward, trying to get to that surface and then just kind of really trying to stretch into it. Maybe you're falling around a little bit. Whoa, let's take a step back from that, okay? You don't need to be bending over all the way and actually touching the granted foot in order to have the stretch. That doesn't mean that you have a stretch, okay? You might even need to lower the surface. This is actually pretty high. And for a lot of people, they can't yet tolerate this, especially if you've had really tight hamstrings for quite a while. So I would recommend lowering the surface. For me, this is okay, so I'm gonna to continue to show you. But first things first is you want your hip not to be way out in front of you and you wanna bring that hip back. So now we're in good alignment here where we can actually move the hips. If it's out here, trying to reach forward, not really the most effective. So let's draw that hip back. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take these hip bones and draw them into the thighs. So as you draw into the thighs, what you might notice is that the foot's gonna pull back. Don't let the whole foot go with you because then you might feel a little tingling down the calf or maybe even into the foot. That means it's a nerve stretch, not a hamstring stretch. And if you wanna even get into that hamstring a little bit more, go ahead and bend that knee actually, relax that foot a lot, dive these hip bones into the thigh, breathe and hold. Now you should feel the stretch only here. If you're feeling that, that means you're doing it effectively. You can also hang on to something. You don't have, this isn't a balance exercise, so you don't have to be, you know, trying to hang out and balance. You can hang on to something nearby and breathing and relaxing. If you want a really efficient stretch, hold it for two minutes, not 30 seconds not 10 seconds, two minutes. Next one that I see done really interesting is this half kneeling one, right? This is a very popular one. So again, this is what I see. I see a lot of low back and back rounding, which means you're stretching your back. Cool, <laughs> but we not, might not be stretching those hamstrings. So again, it's not about reaching for that foot. There is no special prize that you're gonna win over there, okay? Relax that foot, get that hip back, and now we're gonna take these hip bones and dive them forward. That means my back is gonna stay maybe even a little bit more extended, and if you need to, pop that knee up just a little bit so you have a slight bend in the knee, and then you can really get into these hamstrings here breathing, holding, having something to hold on to so you don't have to try to balance yourself is a great option, okay? Again, two minutes here, relaxing the foot. This is truly a hamstring stretch. This is maximizing what you're doing, actually making it efficient and providing carryover so that it truly improves in your body. If you wanna learn more, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on future things of how you can help your body feel better. Comment below, let me know if you felt the difference when you really get into that hamstring.